So how are we going to do this? Because this is kind of dicey. I haven't done a whole lot of triple runs, though I got into wave 30, so it's not that unapproachable. The main question is, how is lane RNG going to work for me? Well, I mean, we can go Frostbolt. I could also go Mortars. Uh, hmm. I mean, Mortar... Do I want to try the vaunted Mega Mortar run? Mortar time. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Slow. Well, ah, damn it. All of these are good. So, Frost Bolts, Mana Bolts, Long Range Ballistics, or the Mana Bank. I'm going to go for the Mana Bank. Reason being, uh, that's going to be gnarly if I don't have it. Okay. The one problem is the mortars are kind of garbage at. Uh, let's see. They're kind of garbage about picking their targets. It won't be so bad. Okay. You keep promising particle cannons or radars and then doing something else. I feel cheated. We'll get there. Uh, so part of the reason why I wanted to wait is I want to get... I want to ride my bicycle. No. Um, I want to beat... Uh, the three lane run first. And I feel like if I can do this with mortars, then I can probably do this with radars and particle cannons. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Go crit. I mean, yeah, let's grab the crit. There we go. Last of that. So all of these are going to be on fastest. What I'm probably going to want to do is have just a ton of mortars focused on just the toughest units kind of spread out a little bit so that they have different targets as opposed to clustering them too much. Uh, go for the enchanted bolts, because if I can get the poison, I will be a happy camper. I might want to expand this one a little bit because it's having some problems. I guess I can just put a couple here. Banditry. There we go. That's what we need. We haven't run into any bad splits yet, which actually makes us really nice. Because if we can have a number of straightaways towards the end, uh, or like close to my tower, and then it spider webs into horror, once you get further out, that gives my ballistas, or my ballistas, my mortars a lot to do. The big fear is that they'll split and then just extend off into space. Because that could go really badly for me. Um, hmm. EMP. And there's our first split. I mean, not, not too bad. If there was a spot for splitting, this would be it. are just a little a little close for comfort okay no shield banditry level two I should probably get frost bolts but let's do the risky thing of go for the extra money first. the mana bolt so I don't have to worry too much. There we go. Got those spots, but I think I'm going to just reserve every plus three spot specifically for my mortars to give them that much extra range. Uh, do I give them more range? Probably not. I think I'm actually going to grab broadhead bolts. Because those... The damage upgrades are better on my ballistas early, because they're hitting so many more enemies. Oh, is that true, though?
Because the mortars do have a much longer range, so they are hitting enemies much sooner. And then with the AoE, that might actually not be might not be the case. Because one up one upgrade for ballistas applies to all of my ballistas. Whereas one upgrade for my mortars, I mean obviously it applies to all my mortars, but it's just a sheer question of quantity more than anything else. Ugh, let's go for mana bolts three. The other ones would be nice, including the bleed, but just upping my uh, upping the raw damage on my ballistas goes pretty far. And this way they can kind of just shred up here. Uh, do we get a... Ow! Oof. Yeah, we definitely, we definitely need to spread this out a little bit. I'll go for the bleed damage. I was really hoping... If I could have gotten this to turn right back around, I think we would have had a better run there. Okay. Super most health. I think the problem is we lose. So the problem is triple is brutal. I don't think I was supposed to pick the mortars that early. I think the mortars are actually a mistake or really anything is a mistake. I think the, the biggest trick is actually just to go full ballista until you can split. And then once you can split, it's not so bad. Okay. Also really depends on level design. And probably should have gotten frost bolts a long time ago. Because frost bolts really do carry. Ah, uh, do I want No, we want banditry. Okay, then we want the mana bank. Just in case. Even if it's not the best. Ooh. I mean, honestly, for triple, maybe this doesn't matter too much. Okay, things might get weird for a hot second. We will see. Um, Go for health, go for armor. Go for armor. Normally, a split like this would be kind of rough. But for this, maybe it's not a problem. Oh, there it goes. Okay, all blisters do burn damage. That's nice. Because my main goal here is to just go Ultra Tangle. Though, the biggest worry is getting a really early portal. Because a really early portal could sink me in a way that I'm not prepared to deal with. Damn, maybe I skip the mortars. We could try the particle cannons. Like was suggested. Oh, let's grab the enchanted bolts. We kind of want to just spread status effects here. Here we go. A couple of these guys. Not too much to worry about. Okay. I enchanted bolt, bolts level two. Because anything and everything else is actually going to be a risk. Because what I could do is potentially have a, a veritable armada of ballista towers just kind of centered around a dense tangle here with some radars or otherwise just really, really long range things designed almost entirely to just uh, take, any, take out anything big at a distance. Or I could go encampments. It's 
So how is Radar as a tower? Um, Jury's out on it a little bit as far as I'm concerned. I just haven't had the ability to leverage it. Okay, Bandit Retreat, level two. It's expensive, but we need the towers. So many houses. I am very thankful for them. But not the most helpful at the moment. Ow. Okay. I'd like the poison, but we need the additional slow. Expand that a little bit. There we go. Let's focus these on fastest. But I think I might lose right here. Yeah, I did. It had promised we needed mana bolts. I I almost feel like mana bolts are a requirement if you want to do what I'm trying to do. There's probably some other things that would work too. But it's hard to say. Okay. Let's just do the usual. Because yeah, my status effects just didn't have enough oomph. Well, banditry right off the bat. Obviously, it's a bit of a risk factor, but... Probably worthwhile all the same. All of these are terrible. Damn. I mean, I can get slow but sure, but like none of the other ones are actually worth it. I could go for sorcery, but that's like super trash. Level setup ain't terrible. Uh, longbow. Ooh. And a two split here. Actually, honestly, a two split at this point really doesn't factor too much. Mana bolts. Because to some degree, it's kind of advantageous. Oh, but we don't have any of the houses. Ooh. The last run had a ton of houses, but... No damage. This has actually just bad. I mean, getting mana bolts to to start is nice. Uh, I guess longbow, further longbow, further longbow. They're not getting through as much. Okay, he got through. I think this one's done. Yeah, I'm just gonna mulligan this one. Getting two status effect up upgrades, mana bolts, and no mana recovery, it's just not worth it. Maybe I can pull a recovery, but it's gonna be rough. I'd rather just reboot. I'm really looking for one of those runs where all three of the lanes converge in a beautiful fashion. And I don't know how lucky I'm going to be on those. I always kind of wish I could just kind of save a layout like, hey, always do this, please. No man again, longbow. Let's see. Do I go for the mana siphon? No. I'm going to go for frost bolts. It's just about as viable. A yeah, pure ballista run. Not necessarily, but uh, triples are rough. Yeah, do I want to go for the broadhead bolts? Or do I want to go for the mana bolts? The problem is mana bolts put me in the hole. Broadhead bolts are kind of okay. 
I mean, they're good. The other thing I could invest in is actually upgrading one or two of these, which is not the worst idea. Mana bank. There we go. Oh, this has got some weird world gem. It's working, but it is squiggly as shit. Honestly, this would have actually been a really good uh, Tesla coil run. If I wanted to go that way. I don't. Hopefully we can make just enough money to get one mana bank down before we run out of juice here. Looks like we're fine. And now I've got the mana regen for days. At least days enough. Banditry level 2. Alright, this, this is starting to give me exactly what I'm looking for. Because we've got our base damage that we need. And it's nice and wiggly, so a lot of enemies have to go past the center points just to get at it, which means that these aren't just dead weight. Useful, but dead weight. More banditry? I'd love jagged heads, but I love money more. One problem is we're going to have way too many houses here. Eh, but it's probably fine. Because we want to have the long Oogie run. Because that's one thing. If I can hold off most of the basic enemies, then you want a really long run to just kind of chip Oogie down early. Especially if you can get some bleed. Uh, Mana Bolts level 2. Yes. Probably need a solution to armor soon. The plus six base damage usually actually works out really well in that specific regard. Okay, let's actually demolish both of these. Because we need we need some more mana. Otherwise we're gonna run out. But yeah, armor is surprisingly not that big of a deal if you've just got tons of base damage, because all of these things do 100 damage uh, to armor just base so I think I can kind of just ignore it the crit would be nice but let's go for longbow grab that a little bit spread those out haven't got any more houses but honestly I've got a decent chunk and then yeah mana is looking not great actually looking pretty bad. So I need to upgrade a little further. And one of the other really useful things to kind of note with this game is that you really don't want your lanes to be the same length um, at all. Do I want jagged heads? Yes. Because we've got a couple rounds before... Oh, boy. Look at this. This might be primo. The only immediate problem is I wish this was filled. If this was filled, things would be even better. Because, yeah, I could... You know, if this had turned just one tile earlier, and then... Uh, someday. If the developers ever add the ability to choose your own, like, kind of path, by, f like, maybe you get a couple of tiles or something... That would make the game too easy, though, so I don't know. Let's get another mana bank. I'd like to get some more ballistas, but... Not today. Okay, more range, mortar, tesla coil, some other things. Longbow 3. Oh. That's intro. Okay. As long as it doesn't turn inwards, we're good. And honestly, even if this does turn inwards, uh, it would be rough, but I could just point tons of blisters around this entire area, and it would probably work great. Okay. 
financially, we're still... Or financially. Mana-wise, we're still kind of in the doghouse. And yeah. Not nearly as much of a problem when you get the plus six base damage. Oh, there's still one more cart. That's fine. Oh, hey. Could add a reroll function for tiles, though. I mean, it'd honestly be kind of interesting if they just had a reroll function, period. So here's the question. Do I want to start... No, let's go for quality over quantity at this point. Oh, it's doing the thing. I mean, I did specifically kind of hope that I'd fill out this interior area. Oh, gosh. Okay. I mean, it's, it's actually ki kind of fine. But yeah, I, I think a reroll function would be interesting, but not just for tiles. I think you should be able to reroll uh, tiles that go down, but also um, your options. Uh, let's see, what's with the path? It's turning inwards. The curse of the tongue. It is the curse of the tongue. There we go. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. None of these are useful for what I'm doing. I guess I'll just get slow but sure. So we want to leave that for Oogie. Uh, so I guess let's just get, get that one. Honestly, this actually, this works out. It's weird. And it's problematic. But here's the thing. I can now just surround this entire area with just madcap uh, firepower. And it'll hit all sides. Like, there's there's a risk just because a lot of enemies are going to be too fast and potentially blitz this entire spiral. But these other lanes, if I can get them to behave, then things get really nutty in a very good way. Unfortunately, Oogie's going at the same speed as the man carts. It's not exactly a good spot for me. He's still taking tons, though. I don't think we need to worry about this. There we go. Yeah, he did. I kind of wish for super towers. You only get one per run, but they're really different in different ways. It'd be interesting. Or if, like, uh, how about at every 25 levels, a tower evolves. And beyond just the card system, you can, um, you can invest in the towers to give it some kind of interesting perk. And the perk can be completely random. Creeping cough? Yeah, let's just grab it, even if we don't have the functionality for it. File consumption. Well, I guess we're going poison sprayer. Game just said no. I mean, I might be able to just avoid putting one down, but I ain't doing that. All right. This is such great straightaways, too. Let's see. Actually, yeah, I'll just leave that there for the time being. And how's this doing? I'll just put it there. I mean... Theoretically, a, a hefty poison sprayer run is going to be pretty good for this anyway, so I shouldn't complain too much. 
because I'm not really complaining much at all. I just, the RNG on that is, it's a little bit cruel. I feel like um, the chests from bosses should actually never drop new, new towers. That wouldn't be bad. Let's see, any tips on what to get for the first XP for the first few runs? Generally, always, I would recommend investing in towers that you already have rather than unlocking new ones. Uh, this game does not do broad very well. It kind of can, but it's expensive and awkward. Whereas some of the best perks that you get are kind of the end of the run. For the most part, you want to invest in um, more card draw and uh, like more cards to draw and also more frequent card draw. Getting both of those uh, goes a very, very long way. Okay. Poison enemies take extra shield. I mean, oh wait, no, we want to expunge. We're not really going for crit yet, but we will be. Um, let's just get that there. I'm actually going to sell that. Because this is such a good spot to just have poison sprayers. And then the crossover potential damage-wise is great. Also, thank you Shadowminator for the 6-month resub. So our biggest problem is going to be armor, just because we're not built around it. So I'm going to have to have my ballistas carry the load there. We're also going to be extremely mana he heavy here. In kind of a bad way. But I think one of my biggest immediate problems is actually going to kind of solve itself. Because these lanes are really short, and so I'm not having the opportunity to really like leverage what I need. But once I get these lanes to be a lot longer, as long as it doesn't split too much. Uh, then we should be okay. Expunge level 2. Do I want to go that direction? Kinda? Seems very early for that, though. Let's go Infection. Let's see, what kind of audience would you recommend this game to? Damn it, got a split already. I Actually, no. Splits like this aren't too bad. Main thing, though, is we need mana. There we go. That should help a bit more. Okay, so yeah, what kind of audience would you recommend this to? Um, I don't know. I guess technically all. It's definitely hard. So, like, I might not hand it to a kid that's too young. But, like, I played games like this back in, like, elementary school when I was a 10-year-old playing stuff on the StarCraft Arcade. So, I can't specifically say that it's, like... not worth it for um, anybody else either. I definitely would say that it's probably better with adult audiences that can like, you know, grasp the uh, the complexity question mark? Teens, late kids, all the way up through adulthood, give or take. Okay, this might hurt a smidge. No, he didn't make it. Uh, let's see, more bleed damage, which is tempting. Or enchanted bolts. Let's go for the enchanted bolts. And let's just kind of expand this. Another split, oh no. Yeah, I was really hoping as this would be relatively, uh, relative straight run. But the game has decided that that is not what it wants to deal with. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, the other thing I should probably do 
Okay, start focus firing all of these guys on fastest. E either fastest or most health, and I'm not quite sure which. I've oh. No, we should do we should do most health. Because my my sprayers actually do uh like a chunk of slow. Like a decent chunk of slow. So I should have my my ballistas mostly aiming for the toughest things. There we go. Gotten past level 40 yet? Yeah. I've I've beaten it a couple of times now. Let's see. Do I want to go jagged heads? I'm not quite sure yet. And the extra bleed is good. Let's see, is there any benefit to putting a blister near a grave? No. No, graves are purely a money-making thing for a, a certain structure. And then otherwise it is not helpful. Okay, most health, most health, most health, most health. Most health. And then these we kind of want to be on progress. Not bad. Now I'm going to keep extending this. I don't know where these are going to go, but I want to have a really long run that goes past as much of my defenses as I possibly can get it. that put it here instead because I don't want it to be able to shoot here we want it to shoot down this direction I want to fire the bones of the dead at enemies or tombstones that would be cool alas Do I get a poison sprayer here? Yes. Yeah, this is a really long run. But should mostly be fine. I guess, honestly, I should probably just have that be Ballista Hill. Uh, let's see, sprayers do extra damage to health. Let's just do extra damage to health. I mean, uh, hmm. Probably just go down some of these. Let's keep expanding this. I don't know where this goes. To see an endless mode for this game. I think an endless mode would be interesting or boring. And I'm not quite sure which. But yeah, I want I want these things to start shredding armor off stuff. That should work a little bit better. All right, there we go. Interesting for a little bit, but quickly boring in my opinion. The problem is you would very quickly just max out. Well, maybe not very quickly, but you'd end up maxing out every tower, and then there wouldn't be any variety to it. So you'd probably do it like once, and then it's like eh. I guess I'll get kill it with fire, even though I can do nothing with it at the moment. It's kind of like with Binding of Isaac. Looping once is kind of a fun novelty, and then any any further loop is just like, why did I do this again? Oh gosh, that's the wrong thing. Do we have a better spot for these? Maybe here-ish. Okay, we need more mana. Though, we're doing kind of fine.
Because we can do more poison, which is good. Bonus damage to armor, which is good. I think I'm going to go for spores for the time being. that off. Oh, uh, I'm just going to keep expanding this. We need kind of a long run so that the boss is by and far the last thing to come through. Okay. Give you some armor damage. These aren't too bad, and I don't think I'm going to level the armor too much. Like, at times 10 or maybe... Eh, times 10 or so seems to usually be the kind of sweet spot for these. I think what would be more interesting would be a single bonus round that constantly spawns increasingly powerful enemies until you die. I'd be fine with that. Yeah. While well, they're killing them, it just takes forever. And if it weren't for these damn graves, we'd have some really good spots to put some sprayers, but alas. And to some degree, I don't want to put any more sprayers up there. Ah, uh, vial consumption, more spores. Just push the poison, push the poison. I guess now that I know I'm not going to have any other big towers, I might as well go a little silly with some of this. And just focus these on whatever the toughest enemies are. Because yeah, every, every foe is going to have to go by these guys. Oh, speaking of, we're about to hit an Oogie phase. So I'll just leave this and probably start expanding this because this is a really short lane and that could be a problem once we hit the robots. Speaking of, the robots are terrifying. This is working. Shockingly well? I mean, not that shockingly well. I, I said to myself before I started playing this today that the moment I figure out how to win a run purely with ballistas is the moment that I figure out how to just beat this game freely. And I think I stand by that. Do I get a little bit sure? Sure. Okay, let's get a second poison sprayer. Get some armor damage. Because we just want these guys to just melt off all armor. Poison is kind of important to remove. Let's see. I think I might just keep these on progress. Eh, maybe. No, er, no, 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 no. I should keep them on progress. There we go. All right, how's this doing? It's a little rough, but we're, it's not currently utilizing my best. gonna point this sucker mostly at Oogie. This is gonna slow him down a lot and really push that poison up. Unfortunately we don't actually do a whole lot of bonus poison damage so it's not that helpful. But yeah he's going down. Yeah it's easy. I was a little worried going into ooh, going into this. Uh, do we want to go for the poison bolts? Actually, you know what? It's probably not that worth it. Let's go for make them suffer. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's keep expanding this one, at least for a little while. Okay. And now it's starting to drain my mana like nobody would be in this. We should probably go back to upgrading that a lot, actually. 
Because especially as these things gain levels, we're just going to have little to nothing. And yes, I see the chests. I forgot they existed for a brief bit. Okay. Next level of expunge would not be a bad idea. My crit chances are not great, but I guess we'll grab a slow cooker while we're here. We don't do burn damage yet, but I can give my blisters the the burn and it actually is pretty good. I mean, look at how much bleed they can stack. Uh, let's see. And while we're at it, let's grab crit chance. So yeah, being able to push expunge a little bit would be lovely. If I could get this to come back. Oh, if I could get this to turn. Okay, so far, so not dead. We got any other good upper tier areas? Wow. I mean, it's working. The sprayers are certainly just shredding things. Kind of in the same way that the Tesla coils do. Uh, possibly even better. Because they fire 50% uh, faster than the Tesla coils. The only immediate problem is it's not a uh, circular AoE around them. But if you can get them on a good straightaway, I think they're better. Uh, one of the biggest issues, though, is they don't apply other status effects. But they do apply the most important one. Which is poison. Let's see. This guy's reaching hex zone. What I might want to do is specifically upgrade maybe a couple of the ones in the back. A poison bolts. Do I want poison bolts? Not really. But am I going to get it anyway? Yes. Reason being, rainbow. Yes. Oh, baby. They might be doing it. Alright. Let's get the armor... Damage up to 10, shield up to 10. Health up to 10? Sure. Just spread the love. Okay. I'm doing fastest. There we go. Because, yeah, that makes this kind of spooky on its own. Shield guys are hard to deal with. Kind of, sort of. It's weird. You'd think they would be harder, but they're not. You just need to... Honestly, uh, the, the more I play this game, the more I realize that the only enemy you need to plan around are anything with shields and the robots. Everything else is just kind of, eh. Hardly a problem. Uh, let's see, do we want to increase the bleed damage? Actually, yes. Especially if we can get a Sanguinate. Ooh. Not quite what I was going for here, but that's fine. Most health. We need to get some universities. Okay. What's the crit chance on these? Yeah, 22%. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible. And just spreading these out kind of in a linear fashion, especially on such a long path, means that they're just going to continuously get uh, uh, poisoned by everything they're up against. Or what are you on? Progress. Now let's go most health. Honestly, for all of these. Because the sprayers are going to do way more damage than the ballistas are, so we should have the ballistas specifically focus fire the toughest things. So how do poison, bleed, and burn differ from each other? Burn works on armor, and does full damage to armor. Um, one second. Extra poison damage. Probably. I haven't seen University go by yet. Maybe I did. Uh, so, Bleed works against health, Poison works against shields, and Burn works against armor. They all do 50% against anything that they're not specifically specialized for, but they do still take effect. Um, so, in this case, it's a very shield-heavy build.
Okay, oh boy. of whatever. I'm gonna buff your armor damage up. Because yeah, those, those robots can and will kill me. I think this will be fine now. And I don't think I need to worry too much about this one just because they have to go through such a gauntlet. Yeah, it's, the, it's those missiles that are a problem. Okay. All blisters do burn damage. Yeah, let's go for the burn damage more, more so than anything else. I should have checked to see if universities were on the list. Because this is another one of those runs where universities work really well. Also, now we have Rainbow Shot. So at this point, I don't think we need to really build around armor anymore. Mostly. We could we could do it with, like, a little bit more. But as long as the robots are getting shredded, then our armor is now a done deal. I think just having one sprayer on each of these paths that does armor damage should be enough. Watch this just go straight. Just terminate there. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Alright, let's keep going for the crit. I'd say yell if you guys see universities go by. I mean, there's a very real possibility I can do this without universities. Without too much trouble. Especially if I'm going really hard on, like, only a handful of specific, uh... A handful of specific things. In retrospect, I should have had this one be the armor melter. And I guess this is my shield melter, so... Probably fine. And then this side is much longer, so I don't have to worry about it as much. Oh, here's the other thing. We should... Get a lot of my frontal facing... Oh, do I... Oh, I don't have the... No, it is... Oh, I don't have the university upgrades. That's why my crit isn't as good as it could be. But yeah, we wanna, we wanna buff our, our crit up on a lot of these. Probably the ones that are highest. And 27% ain't bad. There we go. Uh, let's see. Attacks against bleeding enemies have 5% crit chance? Yes. And I'm just gonna keep expanding this like a fool because I'm curious where it goes and I could potentially leverage like a really long run here for the same reason. Whereas... Maybe expanding the length on this one, but I kind of want these guys to show up early so they get mulched faster. Because, I mean, so far so good. Seems to be working, and whatever comes out of this one, it's the... It's one of the smallest waves, just because it's it's no... It's a no-split double... T uh, single terminus. Which means it's only spawning, like, maybe one or two units that just get kind of bodied by all of the surrounding defenses. I should probably upgrade this thing, actually. Yeah, these guys that are centrally located actually get to hit quite a lot. 
Bliss is, oh, university, there it is. It's a little late for university, but at the same time, I'm not about to uh, skip out on potentially an extra 10% crit, plus other things. Oh boy, this is going to just be weird. I mean, sure, this works. Let's do 5% magic studies on each of these. We really do not care about anything other than shield damage. Because armor can just be solved with enough upgrades. Especially with those crits. Because they're getting crit constantly. And you can just hear it, the cha-ching, cha cha-ching cha constantly. Wow, look at all those missiles. Some health damage add. Yeah, because we, we want to ideally get all of these up. Really reasonably strong. I don't think I'm gonna go health damage on that one just because I don't need to. He's still alive. This sir. This man is still alive. Uh, I want the research breakthrough, but I want the 3% more. Okay. 8%, 8%, 8%, 8%. 8%, 8%. Cool. There we go. And there's Robo Oogie. Not nearly as many as I'd like. Hey, we got, we actually got the plus three shield damage. That's where it wants to be. Here. I don't have quite enough. Nope. That didn't work. I guess, honestly, get this up to, like, 20. And then maybe a little bit on shield. Also 20, maybe? Because, yeah, this is nothing. As long as we can pop properly shred Robo Oogie, nothing, nothing should stop this side. Especially with those crits, you can hear them. The cha-ching, cha-ching. It's good stuff. Okay, you're a little bit more on that. Yeah, we're good. Speaking of... Oh, no. That's got decent crit. This one does not. There we go. Yeah, he did. I'm definitely not doing so hot fire damage-wise, but I think I just needed... Oh, it's because it's burning too fast. Honestly, that's fine. Let's get the uh, let's get the crit chance. Trail of blood. Research bonus. And sanguinate. Which is actually really good. Bam. We're just gonna have portals left and right here, which actually works really well for me, because now I can leverage a lot of my old defenses, uh, or my early defenses, and kind of reapply it to all of these dudes too. I was not expecting to have this easy of a uh, triple lane run. But this this actually turned out to be super helpful. Okay, let's go back to investing. Hard into magic studies. There we go. Almost enough. Did I finish upgrading these? Yeah, mostly did. Yeah, they're not getting past these sprayers. Which I I really I'm glad I've learned how to place the sprayers correctly. Because it makes such a massive difference. I should probably upgrade this thing. I just don't think I need to. 
Because anything that gets in here just gets absolutely bodied. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should upgrade it a little bit. I should make sure everything has 100% crit, uh, or not 100%, 50% crit chance. Uh, let's see, it's just fire? No, I don't want to actually, I guess. Let's go with that. Okay, how much more do I have? Did I finish you? No. Oh, I can even, oh, it's gonna turn there. That's a beautiful thing. There we go. I think that's all I want to invest for now. It's going to get kind of prohibitively expensive in a bad way. And in a way that I don't need to. Yeah, let's just get all of these up. The 50% crit chance. Oh, speaking of... This is a good spot for a uh, sprayer right here. I'll give this a couple points in armor. I get it to 10. But then mostly otherwise shields. And then you're going to be a little bit more armor and health. Okay, how's this doing? Slow but steady. See, a focus on a ballista and a single auto tower seems to be one of, if not the best, strat. I think there's a couple ways to do it beyond that, but I would definitely agree with that one. I don't necessarily know if that's a good way of handling things. Oh yeah, I could even I could even put some ballistas up here. What's your range? Oh, it's beautiful. There we go. And in retrospect, we also have these, which I have not been leveraging. It's a twisted mess, but this very much is probably one of the best layouts I've ever managed. There we go. So what else do we do? Oddly enough, be kind of confused by my research, as I've only invested in shields, and it's like, hey, does not pay out nearly well enough. It's okay. So far on those is good. I'm trying to decide at this point if there's anything else I want to even invest in. So slow. Yeah, I could invest a little bit more here, but why? Let's see. Anyone remember the tower defense game Wander played a ways back where you were one tower in the middle? Tower. Literally, its name is Tower, but it's T-A-U-R. Um. Bam. Yeah, so now this this is just kind of this bonus little area that this gets to shoot. It doesn't really do a whole lot of damage, because I mean, it's reasonably useful. But I get to apply a bunch of extra po uh, poison early. And then I'm just going to continue this, because I can. My path just looped back onto itself, and now I can't expand anymore. Keep going until it's done, you'll get an achievement and kind of a really interesting death. I was going to invest in this a little bit more. There we go. So, at this point, we should probably start upgrading some of these. This is level 17. I must have done that. Uh, 
Sanguinate level two or more bleed or, or more burn. No, let's go for the Sanguinate. That's way more damage. Let's see. It's 45 chance to crit. This is level 19. This is level 1. Uh, let's see. What about you guys? So I want to have each and every one of these be critted out to the 9s. There we go. And this is very cheap too. Oh. I should be doing most health. On most of these. And progress isn't bad, but I'll let the uh I'll let the sprayers do progress damage. Okay. This is most armor. Not the most useful considering its positioning, but Still. Okay, your progress. Oh, wow. Uh, eh. Could be better. Did I get another one of those? Nah, I'll probably be fine. The only other place that I'd maybe be a little worried about would be like here-ish, but even then, I don't know. I think I'm just going to keep expanding this. This, this stupid damn loot makes me so happy. Okay, and this is wave 40, so... Gotta see. Do you currently feel like two tower runs are optimal? Yes and no. There is technically one other type of run that I haven't done because it would be a giant pain in the ass. But, uh, the most optimal run would actually be to call your entire, uh, upgrade, like your meta progression upgrade tree. Call that down so it's only, um... It's only the things that you ex exactly want. So a flamethrower tower that only invests in maybe armor damage, if even. Uh, you know, all of the ballista upgrades, potentially. You know, sprayer tower, some other things. Like, you really could do, like, a, a odd thin-decked tower run that would probably work better. Yeah, this side isn't a problem. This side is getting shredded. Well, that's wave 40. That's what I'm doing now. Refarming EXP is annoying. It's part of the reason why uh, I don't necessarily suggest this as an option. Because I, I think it kind of ruins the fun. Okay, so this area is actually the one that is having the biggest problems. Probably because it has the most amount of units. Getting piled through one area. And enemies take extra shield damage? Sure. Let's see, that should be kind of decent. The other thing to consider would be like gobs of ballistas just kind of around here. Just shooting at the things with the most health. There we go. We want to just... Oop. Too much on that one. And we want to just ignore armor on these guys because it does not make a difference. There we go. Anything else? Just you. And I'm out of juice. It's fine. Oh, there's our portal on that one. And not as much, uh, not quite as much twisting in a productive way as I thought it was going to be, but it's okay. Uh, so many universities. 
Would you believe this is half as much as my last good run? I was expecting, uh, I was honestly expecting more. Okay. Ooh. One other immediate problem that I'm encountering. It's not huge yet, but it could be with all these upgrades. My mana gen was having problems. No longer. Okay, so let's just hang out up here. Because this area just gets mulched on merit of the fact that there aren't a whole lot of enemies that come through. Wow, these guys aren't even getting to the other side of this thing. How's this side doing? Gonna hide the UI so we can watch it. Because honestly, the UI kind of gets in the way on this game. I, frankly, I actually really wish the UI was side aligned instead. Instead of top and bottom, because oddly enough, it, it makes everything feel kind of cramped. And there's not really much going on on the sides. It's not necessarily, like, too bad in its current state, but there's definitely kind of that feeling of, like, oh, yeah, I'm looking at a very thin band. Thin, wide band. Why is they don't let you rotate the map? Yeah. I, I, yeah? I think you'd actually have to do some things with it uh, to probably get that to function. Well, this is a little slow. Alright, what else do we invest in? I saw somebody mention that I almost never get to the end of a... Um, I don't need heavy shafts, we'll just go with that one. I almost never get to the end of an upgraded path for, you know, like, ballista armor damage or anything like that. Game just doesn't give me those. I'm actually quite surprised. I, I guess I don't focus on them as much, just because a plus one armor damage multiplier is just not worth it. Like, and oh gosh. Okay, that was a little worse than I was expecting it would be. That wave was a little punchier than anticipated. I guess I need health damage more than shields. I mean, really, base damage is about the, the same. Uh, personally, I'd actually be super fine with cards... Uh, the cards going away, like, to just give plus one armor damage or plus one shield damage. As nice as that is, that is really kind of what the universities should be for. And almost maybe should just be something you spend money on kind of more universally. Maybe, maybe not. I just don't focus on them because they're not interesting. And the upgrades, like, afterwards are good. But not that amazingly good. We can blend it together. Has Wander been streaming for more than 24 hours? Has time stopped having meaning? Time stopped having meaning. I actually try very hard to have a, a reasonable... Um, ooh. Go for this? Yeah. I try to have a relatively reasonable schedule, you know, not over streaming. I used to stream a lot more, uh, you know, 10 hour days and stuff. And nowadays it's like 5 or 6. Today I'm feeling just a little queasy, and it's like, well, maybe I stop after this one and just kind of take a break and not worry about it. Or maybe I go for like one more, or maybe we do something else. I think the real answer is I think I might want to just kind of mix in something else. As much as I love this game, 
uh, it blends a little bit too much. And also, I don't know. I'm very proud of my accomplishments, and it might just be easier to end on like a... Uh, let's see. End on a big W, as opposed to... Kind of whenever. You know, kind of pushing for the for one more run, but it's like just not good. A yeah, Vampire Survivors had an update. We could do some Vampire Survivors, maybe. Let's see, why can't you be like a vac and never sleep so I can believe the world isn't ending? Oh gosh. I have no idea. So, I actually didn't sleep that much last night, which is part of the reason why I've been taking the easier more. Uh, is because uh, my house sucks, especially during the winter. And it's putting me in this uh, terrible situation where, like, I go to bed cold and I wake up just sweating my head off, and it's awful. I mean, my everything off, really. Okay, who's left? Oh, there. There's, like, one cheeky here. Here's a question. I'm actually gonna buff this dude. Give it the extra bonus damage. Uh, corrosion, trail of blood. Let's just get trail of blood. Get up to 20. This guy's nicely centrally located, so he can kind of work on whoever is left. That's kind of our big singular dude. There we go. Is this, an, is this an achievement for one of those two tire types only? Yes. Honestly, uh, the more I'm doing it, uh, so this is useful for two reasons. One, the achievement's kind of fun. Two, I'm learning so much more about good tower placement by constraining myself here. You know, realizing that poison sprayers are actually best for backstab damage is actually kind of neat and really helpful. There we go. That wrecks him. There we go. Just watching someone play Vampire Survivors for the first time, they couldn't even get one run in before everyone's screaming about pigeons and evolutions. Oh, that sucks. I feel bad about that. Now, having come from another stream wander, you've convinced me of the pandemic of backs eating is awful. It could be fine. Like, especially if, uh, if everybody's kind of on the same page. And it's more about theory, cra theory crafting, but it's like, new player that's never played game before. Hey, time to tell him everything. And it's like, no, don't do that. Immediately just destroys, uh, just immediately destroys any kind of like fun dialogue or anything like that. And puts the streamer in this really awkward position where there's no discovery anymore. And their audience is almost kind of baseline hostile if they want to, uh, you know, branch out on their own and do their own thing. I'd rather wake up sweating than deal with any amount of cold. I'm Canadian. So I worked at a Q chicken processing plant when I was a teen. Wasted a while. Oof. Yeah, I could imagine that. My problem is I'm allergic to my own sweat. So if I'm if I'm sweating, um, it's not just that it's like, uncomfortable, it's that it, I, like, break out into rashes and stuff. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily an allergy thing, but effectively, uh, being sweaty for too long uh, makes my whole skin turn, like, red and blotchy in a bad way. And so, I love being cold, because it means that I'm not going to be uncomfortable for the rest of the day. Speaking of... There we go, that's better. I have no idea how you do this with particle cannons. Must be wild. Holy shit, Oogie! Hasn't even... He must have just got cooked by the sprayers in his general vicinity. But yeah, Big Brain Oogie didn't even... Uh... Didn't even make it out the gate. Before getting all of his shields cooked off. I love this Super Ballista. 
think of mango. I think of mangoes every day. Oh, that was nice and easy. Wow, this is nice and easy. I, I honestly, when he gave me the sprayers, I was like, well, this is a done run. I was wrong. I was very wrong. This worked really well. All right, let's take a look at that. Uh, yeah, the poison sprayers had double the effect of the ballista in it, uh, ballistas just in terms of monetary investment. I will say, the ballistas are still very useful. But the main thing is the poison sprayer has an in, an intrinsic AOE to it, which makes it just so much more useful. Also, the attack speed, because every single upgrade, uh, every single upgrade specifically for the uh, the poison sprayers, uh, counts for is it like three times as much compared to a regular uh, regular ballista just due to the attack speed. The only real difference is the price differential, but still.